Welcome to The Herbal Ire, your podcast on all things holistic health, medical astrology, spirituality, herbalism, and so much more. Presented by your host, Ayer Atla, medical astrologist, herbalist, and naturopath. Let's dive right into today's topic, love and light. Hello, dear listeners, and welcome back to The Herbal Ire. I am excited for today's bonus episode. This weekend, I was gifted a message from my spirit guides about Samhain, and I just wanted to pass that on to you. So let's get started. Hi, everybody. I are here. I wanted to come and give you this message from my spirit guides regarding Samhain. Today is Samhain, and it is a super special time for our family especially and many others I'm sure as well. This is the time of year where the veil is thinned. You can communicate with your ancestors easier or other entities that you want to. Um, We celebrate by, you know, carving jack-o'-lanterns to protect our houses and we wear costumes so that we are protected from the evil spirits that are trying to find us and uh, they can't find us if we're not in human form, right? And we celebrate by exchanging, you know, goods with each other, which is trick-or-treating and, um, Back in the day, we used to like actually do like, here's a pie and baked goods and stuff. And now we've turned it into candy and, you know, little treats and things like that. But same difference and same reason for doing it is to spread goodwill and joy during this season when the weather is a bit drearier and it's a bit darker sooner and it's a bit colder in many places. And so this was just a time of year to really get out and celebrate and spread some joy When things were getting a bit, you know, dark and dreary. And our family just loves, loves, loves Samhain. It's our favorite holiday. uh, More so than I think even Yule, which is saying a lot because my kids love Yule. But we just love this holiday. We love dressing up. We love carving our jack-o'-lanterns. We love celebrating with rituals and all the fun stuff that we do. So we will be doing our Samhain ritual later tonight. We celebrate typically at our altar. We go out to that and we offer up gifts to the deities that we want to and we offer up gifts to our spirit guides and to any of our ancestors that may be, you know, here visiting during this time of year. And we offer, you know, prayers to whomever we choose that night. Sometimes we do meditation. Sometimes we do dancing. It just really depends on our mood when we get out there. Um, The kids all pitch in and they all get to pick a special thing to do that year. Um, So it's just, it's a fun, fun time um, for us. And we love it. And we celebrate pretty much all month long. (laughs) this holiday. So I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as we are and that your plans are going to be fun and fabulous as well. So let's get to the message from my spirit guides. This was a channeled message that I received the other day and at the end they very clearly stated they wanted me to share this with uh, my listeners and my followers on social media. So here we go. This Samhain is a special time. The veil is growing thinner by the day and soon you will see the other side. Do not be afraid to talk to the other side, to communicate with souls that have left this earth and are waiting for bodies and another chance at life. These souls have so much to say and much wisdom to share with you. You can learn so much from them. Celebrate this season with joy. Celebrate those who have gone before. Celebrate the death that brings new life, the ending of one season to start a new one, the ending of one month and the start of another. Give thanks this Samhain to the universe for all the things it has done for you, even the bad things. These are all helping you grow as a human and learn new lessons. The universe is an ever-present teacher that always has your back. You are never alone. And Samhain shows you that. You can see through the veil and see all your ancestors and loved ones that are with you every step of the way, supporting you, loving you, and sending you what you need when you need it. After 
oops, sorry, offer a gift of gratitude to them and the universe on Samhain. Cast a spell of new beginnings and blessings for the year to come. Let this Samhain be the starting point of a journey of self-reflection and introspection and healing on a quantum level, deep penetrating healing on a soul level. Embrace who you are now and give thanks for the you that will emerge from the dark cocoon in a few months' time. You are destined for great things, and your time is coming. Prepare now for your amazing future. This journey may be a lonely one, but trust that your people are coming. One must burn to ashes and lose all before they can rise again stronger and more beautiful than before. Your aura is going to attract those who belong in your space. Be completely true to yourself and don't be afraid to shine. Shine so brightly, no one can miss you. So one cannot help but be drawn to you. Enjoy this Samhain and rise reborn into the you your soul is longing to be. You are needed, loved, wanted, and desired by many. Stop hiding so you can start the change in vibration this world needs today. Blessed be. And that was it. It wasn't a super long message this time, but it was, I feel, a very important and necessary one. This is Scorpio season. It's a time of rebirth, renewal, um, death of the plants that grew in the spring and the summer to be reborn again in the spring. And this is a good time for reflection of yourself and your inner being and what's going on in you and to kind of bring some closure, aka death, to what is going on inside so that you can work on healing on a deeper level. This is what Scorpio season teaches us. Scorpio season is until mid-November. We have another eclipse coming up. It's also eclipse season. There will be an eclipse on November 8th, I believe it is. And this will be when there is a Taurus Scorpio like axis, which is going to be very beautiful, but also very healing and um, bringing a lot of changes and a lot of, you know, opening up to what is going on deep inside of you and healing that. So a lot of shadow work is going to be very necessary here in the next few weeks. And you will notice that a lot too around the eclipse coming up. So this is the perfect time to dive into that shadow work and to get rid of stored emotions and stored traumas and stored, you know, just those things that we thought we cleared, but we didn't get rid of those so that you can continue growing as a human, learning the lessons your soul is to learn this time around the earth and to just spread that light and joy and love to the world in a time where it's pretty dark sometimes. And we need more people that are spreading light and love and joy and happiness instead of all of the bad stuff that we see all the time on the news and everywhere else. So use the Samhain season, the Samhain day to start that. Use Scorpio season to finish that and come 2023, you will be somebody that you never knew you could be, but you will absolutely be in love with. And that is super important for you to love you more than anybody else does. So that is all I really had to say. Just a quick note that I am doing a shadow work challenge starting tomorrow, November 1st and running through December 1st. That allows a few days off for the holidays in November for those who celebrate the Thanksgiving holidays in the U.S. If you are interested in joining, I would love to have you. This is a 30-day paid challenge, and it is going to be absolutely amazing. I created a 52-page workbook to go with it, and you also receive a crystal to help with the energy healing in your house as well. So, um, there comes group sessions and one-on-ones with me. So it's just a really wonderful, beautiful thing. And if you would like to join, I will put the link in the show notes and I would love to see you there. Um, I hope this message resonated with you today. I hope my guides were able to provide you with a message that you needed and that can help you wherever you are on your journeys. 
I will chat with you all next time. Love and light. That's it for another great episode of The Herbal Iyer. Tune in next week for more valuable content with your host, Iyer Atla.